Today we are going to talk about hemangioblastoma. Hemangioblastoma corresponds to 2.5% of central nervous system tumors. Uh, Mangioblastoma is more common in posterior fossa. It corresponds to 10% of posterior fossa tumors. Uh, the, main, the main location in the CNS that hemangioblastoma occurs is in the cerebellum. It is a benign tumor. It is a grade one by who classification. Grade one is a benign tumor. Hemangioblastoma can be sporadic or hereditary. Uh, in adults, hemangioblastoma generally is sporadic. Uh, when we see a case that a case of a children, a child with hemangioblastoma, we should investigate the von Hippel-Lindau disease, uh, maybe a hereditary case. Even though hemangioblastoma is more common in the cerebellum, this kind of tumor can occur anywhere in the CNS. When we compare children and adults, we can say that hemangioblastoma is infrequent in children. It's, it is a kind of tumor that is more common in young adults and usually associated with von Hippolyndo disease. Uh, von Hippolyndo disease is, a, is a, a disease called neurofacomatosis. Neurofacomatosis is a group of disease that generally affect affects the skin in the central nervous system okay so this kind this group of disease is called neurofacomatosis sporadic hemangioblastoma usually present a single cerebellar lesion uh, when when we see a case with hereditary hemangioblastoma the lesion the lesion tends to be multiple. Okay, when we see a sporadic hemangioblastoma, the lesion tends to be single. Okay, uh, as I said before, when we diagnose uh, diagnose uh, hemangioblastoma in children, we should investigate the entire CNS because. Uh, that case can have an association between hemangioblastoma and von Hippolyndo uh, disease. Hemangioblastoma lesions in von Hippolyndo disease tend to be multiple, okay? And when hemangioblastoma is sporadic, uh, that lesion tend to be single. Uh, the main radiologic uh, exams that we use are MRI and CT scan are the main uh, radiologic exams that we use to investigate our patient. The main signs and symptoms of hemangioblastoma are gait ataxia. We said in the first slideshow that uh, the main location in the CNS of hemangioblastoma is the cerebellum. So, and this kind of symptom is pretty common in patients with um, disease in the cerebellum, gait ataxia, dysmetry, hyperreflexia, and sphincter disorders are the main uh, signs and symptoms of hemangioblastoma. Uh, and how we investigate this kind of tumor? Uh, as I said before, the main uh, radiologic exams that we use are CT scan and MRI. The main feeding arteries are superior cerebellar artery, anterior and inferior cerebellar artery, posterior and inferior cerebellar artery are the, main, the three main arteries, feeding arteries of this kind of tumor. Uh, is the mesoblastoma is the most common primary uh, cerebellar tumor in adults. Um, in 
hydrology hydrologic exams a major blastoma usually presents as a cyst that enhance with contrast calcification in this kind of tumor are are generally uncommon and presentation with subarachnoid hemorrhage is generally uncommon too uh, at in the neuro imaging and the image blastoma generally is a well delimited uh, tumor and it shows intense contrast enhancement we need to be aware in this case that uh, some patients can show can present uh, retinal infiltration okay so fundoscopy in this case can be useful this patient can show also liver cysts pancreatic cysts uh, in the kidney renal cysts and clear cell carcinoma can occur uh, we need to search for this kind of uh, disease in patients with hypolindo disease so we need to be aware of this kind of uh, disease in the kidney and pancreatic cysts and liver cysts we also should investigate the intramedullary region we generally use the MRI and CT scan imaginable soma it is a slow growth tumor it presents a low ki 67 uh, in the hemogram it tends to show polycythemia and high hematocrit uh, the cystic portion of the hemoglobastoma grows more than the solid portion and th this kind of grow growing can cause uh, hydrocephalus and mass effect and uh, the patient can need a shunt uh, to treat hydrocephalus uh, how we treat the major blast uh, symptomatic case usually requires surgical treatment embolization may reduce tumor vascularization and uh, it can help we to treat this kind of tumor uh, the required the required case may require hydrotherapy in case of retinal angioma must undergo ophthalmological evaluation intraoperative monitoring may be necessary especially when we treat a posterior fossa tumor uh, intraoperative doper can also help intraoperatively uh, because his hemoglobastoma is has a great amount of vascularization the prognosis tends to be far favorable uh, when we do a complete resection and as I said before, hemangioblastoma is a grade 1 tumor and presents a benign histology. The main cause of death in patients with hemangioblastoma is the renal clear cell carcinoma. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this content, click like and subscribe in the channel and see you in the next lecture.